My name is Lily. Uh, I am the Director of Development and Individual Giving at Whitman Walker Health. I have the privilege of engaging with donors um, and corporations to garner support for the amazing work we do. When I was 16 years old, I came out to the majority of my friends and family. And that June, Pride Month, I went to my first Capital Pride. And it was an amazing experience for me because m my existence was validated. And I remember distinctly that the presenting sponsor of Capital Pride was at the time Whitman Walker Clinic. And I never forgot that. So 11 years later, I had this incredible opportunity to join the Whitman Walker Health team. And I remembered that 16 year old Lily who was validated and uh, and, and, and it was really impactful for me. So um, to be able to have that come back full circle, it was an opportunity that I couldn't pass up. I love to learn. I consider myself a lifelong learner and there's a lot to learn at Whitman Walker. Uh, something I love about the organization is we're always changing and evolving to fit our clients' needs. We're not the same Whitman Walker that was founded in 1973 in a basement. Um, we've become a lot more than that. We haven't lost touch of our roots, which I think is really critically important for an organization. Um, but we are more things to more people. And so because of that, we constantly have to learn and evolve. Um, so being a lifelong learner, I think I can offer some of that. Helping people, making things better. That's why I work in development. Because when I believe in something, I get behind it 110%. And I believe in Whitman Walker Health as an organization. I believe in LGBT rights as a movement. And I consider my job to be a great privilege because, you know, a lot of people think fundraising is simply asking people for money. And that's not at all how I view my role. How I view my role is we have an incredible mission and vision and we're doing amazing things. And I'm simply discussing the opportunity for people to get on board with Women Walker. I'm 27 years old. And in my lifetime, I have been fortunate to never have to experience what those before me had to experience with the AIDS epidemic. And we can't forget that. We can't forget that Whitman Walker was founded in a basement in the 70s and in the 80s, we were figuring out what AIDS was. I've never known a time where AIDS was a death sentence. And that's a true gift but we can't forget that that's where we were. Whitman Walker is a place where I can walk in every day and talk about my wife and talk about my existence, quite literally. And it's embraced. Like, I'm just like everybody else. And, you know, when I came out 11 years ago, that was not my experience at the time. So I can only imagine what the experience of those before me, you know, 20, 30 years ago coming out was like. Um, being LGBTQ, living with HIV or AIDS. So I can imagine that it would be really joyous for a lot of people to have a community, a place, where you can go and be loved and accepted for exactly who you are. My hope in 20 years is that the, that the transgender community garners the same acceptance and respect that gays and lesbians have received over the past decade, I would say. I think that's our next big task. Um, you know, it's LGBT for a reason, and you know, we have marriage equality and that's incredible, and I'm married now because of it. And again, I, I can't imagine, had I lived this life 20 years ago, I wouldn't have been able to get married. And I just walked into the courthouse and they treated us like we were just another couple. And I had to give pause to that because it's just incredible. So we need to fight for those same rights for our transgender brothers and sisters. It means that 
everybody matters. When you walk into Whitman Walker Health, you matter. And, you know, when I started working here seven months ago, we had a new hire orientation and our CEO, Don Blanchon, walked in and he told us, very frankly, we're not going to be able to help everybody in the way that they need to be helped. Some things are not going to be in our control, but what is in our control is providing dignity and respect to everybody who walks through our doors. And we live that every single day. So we see you is just an amazing tagline because it's real. It's really what we believe. When somebody walks in, it doesn't matter what you've been dealing with at home, what you've been dealing with in your personal life, we're gonna take care of you, we're gonna treat you with dignity and respect. We see you.